Hello friends, welcome to our website automationcommunity.com. The example today we are going to see is lamps for quiz competition. So first of all, let us understand what are the user requirements. Here I have drawn three tables for three teams. Each table has one button and one lamp. And this is the table for host or anchor and this is the reset button. So first of all, when the anchor or host asks the question, students on the different tables, they can press the button to answer. We want to know which button is pressed first. So for that, we will write a code accordingly. So what will happen? Whichever button is pressed earlier, that lamp should glow and the buttons pressed later ones that respective lamps should not glow. For example, if the team 1 at table 1 presses the button 1 before other teams presses their button, then lamp 1 must be on and other lamp must not on. After that, when the host or anchor wants to ask another question, he need to switch off if any lamp is on. So when the host will press this reset button, any lamp that is on will be off. So now let us see the hardware connections required to make this project. So first of all, you can see this figure. We will connect a ground terminal from SMPS to the common or sourcing of our inputs. Now we will take 24 volt supply and we will give this to four switches. Now what are these four switches? As you can see here, the first switch is for table 1 button, another switch is for table 2 button, for table 3 and finally the last switch is for anchor or host to reset the lamp. Now at the one terminal of each switches, we will connect the 24 volt supply. Now another terminal of switch 1 we will connect to X0, another terminal of switch 2, we will connect it to X1, another terminal of switch 3, we will connect it to X2 and finally our last reset button, we will connect its another terminal to X3. We have 4 switches, here it is starting from X0 to X3, so this is the 4 inputs. You need to remember that you have connected which switch to which input number for programming. So these are our digital inputs. Now let us see wiring for our digital outputs. So first of all in each common we will connect ground of SMPS. After that our lamp requires two terminal. After that I will connect one terminal of my each lamp to the 24 volt supply as you can see from here. Another terminal of lamp 1, I will connect it to Y0. Another terminal of lamp 2, I will connect to Y1. And another terminal of lamp 3, I will connect it to Y2. Now let me explain you how the lamps will on. For example, if Y0 is on, then power will flow from 24 volt supply to this lamp 1. Now another terminal of lamp requires ground. So from here it will go to Y0 and Y0 bit will be on so it will connect it to common and from common it will provide ground. So in this way this lamp here will get ground and here will get 24 volt supply and lamp 1 will become on. Similarly if Y1 is on lamp 2 will on and if Y2 is on then lamp 3 will on. So this was all about our hardware connections it is very simple. Let us understand what is the logic required to create this project. So in the first step what we want to do, if the rising edge pulse is detected at button 1 which is connected to our X0, if the rising edge pulse is detected at here then my output Y0 that is my lamp 1 should on but we have to interlock with output Y1 
that is lamb 2 and output y2 that is lamb 3 because for example if the table number 2 presses the switch first then y1 will be on and if y1 is on then this lamp should not be on so similarly this step we will repeat for lamp 2 and lamp 3 simple we will set this y1 bit when the rising edge pulse is detected at x1 bit but again we have to interlock with first lamp that is y0 and third lamp that is y2 similarly here also we will set the lamp 3 that is y2 with the rising edge pulse of button 3 that is x2 and again we will interlock it with outputs of lamp 1 and lamp 2 that is y0 and y1 here and finally when the anchor presses the reset button so if the rising edge is detected at x3 reset button my all outputs should be 0 so here i will use zone reset command and here i will use set command so without wasting a time let us start our programming so i will open my isp soft software from here click on new file click yes so here i will write name of my project click ok so as usual first of all we will write device comment list from here so double click over it my button for table 1 so here I will write similarly here I will write button 2 for table 2 this will be button 3 for table 3 and this will be reset button We will write comment for outputs. So y0 is our lamp 1, y1 is our lamp 2, and y2 is our lamp 3. We only have 3 outputs. So now let us close this. Click on programs button, right click over it and click new. Here we will write name of our program. Click OK. Let me maximize this. Now we will write a network comment over here. So I am writing this network. Set lamp 1. Click OK. Here we will write code to on the lamp 1. So first of all, I will select one contact from here, bring my cursor to this red portion and here I will write x0 as this is my button 1. So I will click enter. You can see button 1 is created. But in the logic I have discussed that we will use rising edge because user will press the button and release it. But my output should remain on. So here I will use rising edge. So double click over it and select rising edge from here. Now here when the button is pressed our lamp should on. So I will select coil from here. Bring your cursor to this red portion and select pointer and write its name. So this is our Y0 lamp 1. Click over here. Now again this is the simple output. Once the pulse is gone, it will be off. But what we want, the lamp should remain on even if the button is released. So here we have to set it. So double click over it and select set. Now even if input is not available, it will remain on. But as you remember, we have to interlock it with another output. For example, 
if lamp 2 is already on then lamp 1 should not on similarly if lamp 3 is already on then lamp 1 should not on so for that we will again select a contact from here bring your cursor to this red portion and when the series type contact is shown click over it because we have two lamps other than lamp 1 so again click over it and two contacts are created so here i will write Y1 because this is our lamp 2 enter and here I will write Y2 this is our lamp 3 so again press enter now what we want these two lamps should be off then only this lamp will on so here we have to select NC for this so double click over it and select NC because because if the Y1 is on here there will be no power and if y1 is off then this nc will have continuity and power will flow from here similarly if lamp 3 is off then this nc will have continuity and power will flow from here and finally my lamp 1 will on so the same thing we are going to do for our lamp 2 and lamp 3 so first of all insert a network from here again write a com network comment from here set lamp 2 press enter select a contact bring your cursor to here so now this time you know we want three contacts so i will select three contacts like this and one output so i will select one output from here coil now i will write name to each things so here i will use x1 this is my button 1 for lamp 1 press enter now here we want to interlock output of lamp 1 so here i will write y0 press enter now here we want to interlock our output of lamp 3 that is y2 press enter and finally this is our output y1 that is lamp 1 click over here so you can see this is lamp 2 output y1 now as here we have used nc here also we will used nc and here one rising edge so double click over it from here also we will select rising edge here we select nc double click over it and here we will select nc now the same steps we are going to repeat for lamp 3 so again insert a network write a network comment press enter again i will select contacts and create three no contacts and one output coil from here and now i will name everything so this will be our x3 press enter this will be our y0 because we want to interlock these two lamps so press enter now here we will write y1 press enter and this is our output y to lamp 3 so you can see this is our lamp 3 i have interlocked with lamp 1 and lamp 2 and sorry here we have to use x2 button press so this is our button 3 okay so if the button 3 is pressed lamp 3 should blow but at that time these two lamps should be off so again here i will select nc here i will select one rising edge now we also forget to make this bit set so double click over it and click set again i will explain you why we are using this set bit for example if the button 2 is released then also my lamp 2 should remain on so that's why we are using this set bit now finally what we want to do we want to reset our all lamps press enter if any lamp is on we need to reset it so that next question can be asked so for that i will select one no contact from here bring your cursor to here and one output coil from here now we will name this no contact as x3 press enter so this will be our reset button select a rising edge double click over it and select rising edge so now we want to reset these three outputs so what a beginner will do he or she will select a 
coil from here, we will select multiple contacts like this and then he will give address to this S then he or she will select reset like this so this is one way to reset our all outputs but let us learn some new instruction here there are only three outputs that we want to off but think if you have lot of outputs that you want to turn off then first of all let us delete this so now what we will use we will use one instruction zone reset so go to functions click all type and here write zrst this is the mnemonics for zone reset and click enter so zone reset zone means one range i will give one starting and ending address over here and anything between that will be resetted so here i will write y0 and here i will write y2 so starting from y0 up to y2 all the outputs will be resetted when this condition is true so friends here we have completed our programming for a lamp of quiz competition in the next video we will see its hmi designing and its simulation if you want to learn more examples like this please like and subscribe our youtube channel